Hey guys, uh, have you ever been out and about someplace, oh, say out in the woods, out in a field maybe, someplace with no electricity and just had this uncontrollable urge to solder something? Yeah, me too. So, I thought maybe get uh, one of these uh, butane soldering irons and I've got this a little while ago just decided I'm gonna I'm gonna need it for an upcoming project so I figured um, maybe we'll we'll see if it works and uh, we'll uh, we'll find out if it's any good or not and kind of go from there but uh, all right let's get into her What it comes with is this handy dandy little plastic carrying case. Nothing special, a little on the cheesy side, but uh, you know, what's it got to do? It's holding something that barely weighs a pound. Uh, got this uh, user manual here, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Well, That might be an issue. I don't know if my butane is exactly 99% pure. Uh, let's see. I'm just using, uh, well, this stuff. It'll do 90 uh, disposable lighters worth. <laughs> is that good enough? I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to find out, though. Take a look at the kit. Yeah. Looks pretty decent to me. I've been looking at these guys uh, for a little while. And just, you know, like I said, recently decided it's time to pull the trigger. Because I'm going to need it for an upcoming project. And, uh, yeah, I mean... You don't need them often, but when you do, there's just, uh, there's no substitute. So, here is the actual device, the unit. Ah, it feels good. I, I, I like that it's aluminum. That's not plastic like most of the others. This thing isn't terribly expensive. It was only like 40 bucks. I'll put a link in the description, but, uh, hmm, that 99% pure thing, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if this is going to work or not, I guess we'll find out. That's nice and cold. Ah. Can you hear that? All right. It doesn't stop. Oh, the lock. I see. Oh, hell. That was pretty decent. Oh, I get it. That's what the lock thing does. All right. Ah, cool. Well, I don't know how uh, refined this butane is, but uh, hey, you see what I see so far. It works. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I like the assortment of tips here you know, for uh, heat shrink and soldering and couple of different soldering uh, attachments here. Uh, this is another torch. Ah, come on, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, that would just be a torch, a, a, fl a flame front. A hot knife. Not very sharp, but... You know, if it's running up there a thousand degrees, it doesn't have to be sharp. 
Ah, pretty cool. Not tea bag. Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's compare it to my my standby here. I'll put a, a soldering tip in here, and I don't know. See, see who who can handle what. Um, I think I think this is about the stupidest thing most of us would ever try to solder. Uh, this and uh, maybe some I don't know eight gauge battery cable here. This is uh, this is actually ten gauge. Uh, uh, it's stranded, but it, it's solid core strands. You know, it's not the fine, it's not the fine braided stuff like this stuff is. Well, that end looks like crap, but I'll cut a clean end off and we'll see who can put what together here. Uh, I love this guy, but like I said, when when you're out and about and you don't have any electricity, well, what are you gonna do? That's where this guy comes in. So let's find out how how good it works, what kind of balls it's got, and go from there. I figured let's strip some wire here, put some nasty shit together, and see what this guy does. That looks good and ugly, doesn't it? Eh, something like that. All right. Nice. I can feel the heat all the way back here. Can you feel that? Oh, man. Cool. Well, it better not be cool, it better be hot. All right. Oops, sorry. It's hot. Holy shit, yeah. I believe this was rated for 125 watts. That is maxed out on high, so we'll see if 125 watts can do uh, 8 gauge battery cable. Kinda getting there. Oh. You know what? It's doing it begrudgingly. But it's getting there. Wire is freaking hot. The uh, plastic over here is melting. The coax. That's probably why. <laughs> eh, idiot. Pay attention, boy.
wonder if that would work any better. I can't stop shaking. I have too much fucking coffee this morning. That's what I thought. You won't be able to get it from just one angle. You'll have to move the thing around. But, uh, yeah, holy shit. That's getting her. For sure. For sure, for sure. Well, that's not exactly pretty. But it's not exactly ugly. If uh, if you're out and about, you're in a pinch, and you had to do something this ridiculous with a soldering iron, well, it is doable. Hmm. Oop, I keep bumping this damn camera. Sorry about that. It'll do it. I mean begrudgingly but uh, yeah holy crap so that's what kind of balls it's got big old freaking elephant balls yeah cool I don't think my welder would do that that's uh that's a 75 watt and this is good for well rated for a uh, hundred and a quarter uh, yeah this this struggled with it so I don't even think it's worth wasting time to try it with that. Let's see what it does with uh, this heavy stranded stuff here. Let's see if that's any different. I am just curious. I don't even know if I can get these together without stabbing myself. Eh, let me work on that. All right, I got that together. I'm not bleeding. Oh, yeah, I am bleeding. Holy fuck, it did get me. I felt it digging in. I didn't think it was that far, though. Oh, well. Whatever. A little blood for a little science. Let's see if... Uh... Let's see if this can handle... It, it looks physically the same size, but it's not. This, this is 8 gauge, and this is actually 10 gauge. Um... You would use this for, oh, like, say, powering up a welder, for example, uh, the kitchen stove, you know, an electric kitchen stove, a dryer, you know, th those kinds of things. That's what this uh, 10 gauge would normally be used for. So, I mean, it's it's something absolutely retarded. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really solder this, but I figured, you know, just for shits and giggles, because it it did it did this. So. Uh, Let's see if I can do that. I'm not holding my breath, but I am just curious. Probably, probably should use that little jet section there.
I'll be damned. It's creeping. That is pretty damn impressive. I mean, really, this is the, about the dumbest thing you would ever do with a soldering iron. But yeah, I think that got her. I believe so. Let's take a look. And it is hot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> so yeah, I cooled down enough I can handle it now. That little thing was able to solder this. I, I missed a spot there, but you see, it didn't take forever exactly. And uh, this is not exactly a, a very nice fit, man. Um, so even still, I, it's in there. That, that that would not come apart no matter what you did. Yeah, that's uh, that's all right. That's that's pretty impressive, actually. Uh, you know, you would never, like I said, this is about the dumbest thing you would ever want to do with a soldering iron. So, yeah, that's uh, that's big balls right there. That's big old freaking elephant balls. So yeah, I like it. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for this below. This was only like 40 bucks to my door. I mean, there ain't nothing to argue with here. This, this safety tab, that, yeah. I'm gonna cut that right the hell off. You gotta pull that back before you can actuate the, the, uh, whatever, the striker, the, the piezo electric device that's in there, in there, the thing that makes the big old sparks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut that end off and call her a day right there. But yeah, I, I like this so far anyway. And I, like I said, I don't, I don't know what kind of pro, uh, butane this is, uh, purity wise. It's just whatever. It's just regular shit off the shelf butane, but it seems to work. So, Hey, good enough. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to call that, uh, quite a successful test demonstration show and tell all that jazz and yeah if you want one like i said i'll put a link in the description below and there you go man have at it cool thanks